bearings. So we've got uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we exercise 902 from the New Century Maths Advanced textbook. Question 7. Colin leaves Burke and drives 204 kilometres to Ningen. The bearing of Ningen from Burke is 127 degrees. And they've given us a diagram, and that's 127 degrees there. It's from the north, three digits, clockwise. Find the value of theta. Okay, they've added theta in here. Now, the bearing of Ningen from Burke, okay, from Burke, so that's where, we put, that's where we've got the north, so it comes from there, is 127. And from angles in parallel lines, we know that 127 plus theta is 180 because this angle here and that angle are co-interior angles and they add up to 180. The parallel lines is this north line here and that north line. Therefore, theta is 180 minus 127, which is 53. Now, B, how far south of Burke is Ningen? So we have to find this distance. I've labeled it X on the diagram. Now, I've got this alpha here. All right, and it says, I'm so alpha would obviously be 90 minus theta. So I've put that here, alpha is 90 minus 53, that's 37. And sine 37 degrees is x on 204 because the sine of this angle is x over the hypotenuse, the opposite over hypotenuse. Therefore, x is equal to 122.77. Therefore, Ningen is 123. Uh, to kilometres south of Burke to three significant figures. So we've found X. C, what is the bearing of Burke from Ningen? Now it's from Ningen, so we put this dot here and we can put our north sign from here. And we're looking for this angle. Okay. Now this angle is 270, so just that's 90, that's 180, that's 270. So we just have to add 270 plus alpha. You could also do 360 minus theta. Now remember this, from when from and two bearings are reversed, there is a difference of 180. So we know that the difference between from Burke to Ningen, which is 127, and from Ningen to Burke, the bearings are 180 degrees different. And just by observation, we can see that it's gonna be more than 270 and less than 360. So we're gonna add 180 to 127, and we get 307, okay? And that's how we got it, and also that 270 plus 37. Got the 270 plus 37, up here, or 127 plus 108, which is just the 127 plus the 180. Okay, so read through that again. I think you'll get that. All right, question eight. Yana cycles 10 kilometers due west. So I've put that in 10 kilometers due west. And then seven kilometres due north. So I put that in the origin, zero, B, and then C. How far, correct, to one decimal place is Yana from her starting point? So we have to find X. We can use Pythagoras for that. It's 10 squared plus 7 squared equals X squared. And the answer was 12.2 kilometres. Correct to one decimal place. All right. Now this uh, orange writing refers to here. B, what is her bearing from the starting point correct to the nearest degree? So the bearing from the, the starting point, starting from the starting point, so we put the north there, we go around all the way to here because the bearing, that's where she is now. So that's the bearing all the way around there. Now I've written this in C, B and O. The angle C, O, B, we'll call alpha. And let me write that in. Okay, so we've got our alpha there. The 10 of alpha is 7 over 10, the opposite over adjacent, and that'll give us alpha, which is 35. So Yana's bearing from the starting point is 270 plus 35, which is 305, because we said it's all this, that's 90, 180, 270 plus alpha is 305 degrees. Number nine, a triathlete cycles 20 kilometres on a south-southeast bearing to the finish line. Now, I've grabbed this from the textbook. South, south, east is between south, east and south. And it's 22 and a half more than 135 or 22 and a half less than 180. So I've put it down here as 157.5 degrees. Okay, 20 kilometres. So here's our drawing. 20 kilometres at 157.5 degrees. And, 
it says how far to the nearest kilometer has a triathlete traveled in a southerly direction so we need to find x again mm -hmm. okay so uh theta we know theta is 180 minus 157.5 so we know theta i've got method one here and a method two method one so angle in a straight line equals 180 so we know that 157.5 plus theta is 180 so we find out that theta is 22.5 we then use cosine of theta, it's the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is x over 20, and x, which is the south distance that uh, he's traveled, they've traveled, or he's traveled, or she's traveled, is 18.4776 there. So to the nearest kilometer, the triathlete traveled 19 kilometers in a southerly direction, okay, because it's this blue line here, right? And so we found x. Also, the method two is alternate angles. 90 degrees plus alpha equals 157.5 because this angle, 157, the alternate angle to that is this angle here, which is 90 plus alpha. Okay, so we've got alpha equaling 67.5 degrees as, as expected because alpha plus, uh, alpha plus theta should equal 90, that one plus that one equals 90, because that's 90, and 180 in a triangle. And so we can then use sine, because the sine of alpha is x on 20, and we get x to be the same. And that confirms also, which we'll see a little bit later on in another video, that sine A equals cosine of 90 minus A. B, what is the compass bearing of the starting point from the finish line? All right, so... This, from the finish line. So this is the finish line. Now they want to find this angle here, the red one. Okay, C red angle in diagram. So we want to find that bearing there, that angle. Bearing of the starting point from the finish line has a difference of 180, and from observation, the bearing is 157.5, okay, 157.5, plus 180, which is 337.5, because... If this is 157.5 from this point to here, then when you go from this point to there, there's 180 degrees difference. So we just add 180 to 157.5. Okay. Good. And also you could add 270 to alpha, and you'd also get it. So 270 plus alpha should give that. Now alpha was 67.5. So 270 plus 67.5... Uh, should also give us 337.5. Now that's to the north northwest because if you can see on here, they're opposite there by 180 degrees. And north northwest is between 360 and 315, which is 315 plus 22.5, and that's also 337.5. So that's good. Question 10, a hiking group walks from Sandy Flats to Black Ridge, a distance of 20.9 kilometres. Well, I've put Sandy Flats here, and it's to Black Ridge in the direction of 78 degrees. So remember, that's 78 degrees bearing. 078 is from the north, so it's this angle here, and it's to Black Ridge. Then they turn and hike due south to River's End, then due west. So they must stop right here, which is level with S, which I've called Sandy Flats is S, back to Sandy Flats. So that's our triangle. How far have they hiked together, all together, to the nearest 0.1 kilometre? Okay, so I've written in B for Black Ridge, R for River's End, and S for Sandy's Flat. The angle BSR is 12 degrees. We know that because the angle here was given, the bearing was 078. So 90 minus 78 is 12 degrees. And then from the diagram, if we want to find BR... It's going to be the sine, which is BR over 20.9, the opposite over the hypotenuse. So the sine of 12 is BR over 20.9, which gives us BR of 4.345. Right. And cosine of 12 degrees is going to give us RS, or SR, this one here. So the cosine is the adjacent, which is our SR, divided by the hypotenuse which is 20.9, so we get a value of SR of 20.44328. Now, the alternate method to find SR is using Pythagoras because if we know this and we know this, this we can use Pythagoras. This squared plus this squared equals that squared, so we could also find it through that. So the group has hiked 20.9, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.5, 1.
Also BR, which we said was 4.34535, plus uh, SR, which we said was 20.44328, that one. So we add them all together, and the total is 45.7 kilometres to the nearest point one of a kilometre. Question 11. A triangular orienteering run starts at Alpha and passes through the checkpoints of Bravo and Charlie. Now, they told us it's triangular before finishing at Alpha. So it starts here, goes to Bravo, Charlie, and back to Alpha. Bravo is 8.5 kilometres due east of Alpha, so that's there. And Charlie is 10.5 kilometres due south of Bravo, so that's there. Calculate to correct to three decimal places the distance from Charlie to Alpha. Well, they gave us this and that. So we just use Pythagoras and we find x. x squared is 8.5 squared plus 10.5 squared. And that gives us a value of x of 13.5093 three decimal places, as asked for, kilometres. B, find the bearing of alpha from Charlie, correct to the nearest degree. Now, when it says from Charlie, that's where we put the point. We start there. The north is there and we go around clockwise and we travel like that. So we're looking for alpha. Let alpha be the bearing of alpha from Charlie. So that's alpha. So the bearing will be all the way around there. Now we have a lot of information already about this triangle. We can find this angle here because the tan of that angle is the opposite over the adjacent. So it's 8.5 over 10.5. Using tan to the minus one or equal theta, we find theta is 38.991. And since alpha is 360 minus theta, Alpha must be 360 minus 38.991, and that to the nearest degree is 321 degrees, and it looks like it could be 321 degrees too. Great.